Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. I just wanted to quickly go over some of the more recent circulating news regarding Ripple and XRP because I found it very positive, especially since we're still dealing with this really nasty bearish trend in market right now, of course, uh, with all of the expert analysts talking about how we could still see Bitcoin drop down to around $3,000 before we even see a bull rally take place. It really does help to see positive news regarding one of my favorite coins, XRP, and of course, uh, one of the companies that back up that particular coin being Ripple. Now, this is an article coming from CryptoGlobe.com where we have eToro Senior Analyst calls XRP a unique asset and also says that XRP is winning at social media. Now, of course, this is based off of a particular tweet that was posted from Matty Greenspan, again, the senior analyst of eToro, who basically asked the question, what is your favorite crypto? And of course, you can see that the options were Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, and of course, the, the last one being other for you to write it down. Well, right off the bat, you can see that XRP took the cake with 46% uh, being chosen there. And I would simply guess that the XRP community really wanted to make it apparent that the XRP coin is one of the more prominent and more uh, demanding coins at this point in time when it comes to all the communities out there. Now, it is also something to uh, weigh in on when it comes to seeing XRP not only taking second place and pushing Ethereum down, but uh, like this article kind of specifies here that um, it has maintained its strength as being in second place for quite some time now. According to this article, it looks like we've seen XRP holding strong in second place for about 11, maybe even 12 days now, just depending on when you're watching this. And it states here that the last time we actually saw XRP spend quite a bit of time in second place was back in January 26th of 2016, and that lasted all the way until February 8th of 2016. So it has absolutely been quite some time since we we've seen XRP take second place and actually hold that. So it is absolutely something hopeful that we continue to see XRP maintain that strength. And with this market cap growing ever so slowly there, and of course, Bitcoin's market cap dropping ever so slowly, we could see those two get very close with their market caps to the point that XRP starts actually uh, getting a little bit higher in this market cap and taking over the first place position there. So uh, that might be hopeful and wishful thinking, but anything could happen at this point in time, especially with all the Bitcoin cash hash war politics we've been seeing lately. And of course, the talk of uh, what what could potentially be a scare tactic for those that are dealing with mineable coins versus pre-mined coins. Uh, of course, and the different types of hacks that can happen for those mineable coins. So again, a lot of the politics there have really uh, turned people away from those popular coins like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and pushed the direction towards coins such as XRP and Tron and even Stellar Lumens just as well. So. Hopefully, again, in the future, we're going to start seeing more positive uh, articles coming out regarding how well XRP is doing by comparison to those other cryptocurrencies. All right, moving along here, we have news from newsbtc.com talking about blockchain capital and Coinbase invest $12.75 million in security token issuance platform. Now, I'm bringing this up because those aren't the only companies that invested in this particular platform. As you can see, we also have Ripple. NXTP and Global Brain Corporations that have invested in this. Now it states here, as far as this information is, uh, it's a high number of high profile companies within the cryptocurrency space have invested in Securitize, a primary issuance platform for asset backed security tokens on the blockchain. Now, of course, the article goes to state that Securitize uses its own digital securities protocol, DS protocol, to focus on the security token space, including partnering with crypto exchanges, broker dealers, custodians, escrow services, and other infrastructures to help companies create blockchain based security tokens. Now, I found it very interesting here with this particular link and this, uh, these different types of investors, such as Ripple, because Ripple has been one of those companies that's been dealing with a security issue when it comes to the SEC and, of course, uh, legality issues from lawsuits uh, from the past. So, of course, seeing Ripple be somebody invested in this particular platform really does uh, show that they're trying to expand into at least additional types of regions to hopefully broaden their availability of 
being an accepted company and of course allowing XRP to be an accepted type of coin whether it is listed as a an altcoin or an actual security so we still have a little ways to go when it comes to figuring out whether or not the SEC is going to determine that uh, uh, XRP being a security or not but again I just found very interesting that we have some sort of relationship between this securities issuance platform and Ripple being an investor now of course what's interesting here it talks a little bit more in depth about some of those other investors we have global brain a tokyo based venture capital firm will help securitize expand in asia and of course the latin america fund nxtp will help the business develop in their particular region and then you have blockchain capital has secured its co-founder and managing partner brad stevens in securitizes board of directors so we actually have quite a bit of connections with a lot of these companies and again this particular platform called securitize so we'll have to to keep our eyes out for a little bit more of the news regarding this here in these particular investors and this connection with this security token issuance platform see where it takes us of course I uh, wanted to kind of talk about here as well uh, we had heard in the past that CoinCheck had a pretty big hack. I believe it was around $500 million worth of NEM tokens were stolen. And it uh, meant at that point in time back in January that they had to shut down their services. But, uh, of course, they just recently come out stating that not only have they gotten their services back up as far as their exchange, but we also have what looks to be the uh, reintroduction of XRP and, of course, FCT, which is Factum Coin to be uh, added to their particular cryptocurrency digital asset exchange as well so it looks as though they've completed their cryptocurrencies they were offering in the past by re-adding them back after that horrible uh hack that took place where they again they had all those nem tokens stolen so good to see that xrp is now an available option on coincheck just as well and I wanted to end on this particular topic here about the crypto ETPs that are now being tracked for Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, and Litecoin on the six Swiss exchange. Now, I had talked about this previously in a video where I mentioned how we are going to be set up with this particular exchange to see these new cryptocurrency ETPs going into effect. Uh, according to this article here, this marks the world's first approved crypto ETF-like security trading on a major exchange. And of course, it goes to explain what an ETP is. It says that it's short for exchange traded products. It is also a derivative investment that is traded on security exchanges valued on the basis of another investment instrument such as commodity or currency. And in the case of the Ammon Crypto Basket Index, which is going by the ticker HODL, the value will be based on cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm bringing this up here because if we see some success take place with these particular ETPs, then it could possibly lend itself to helping the SEC make a decision on the ETFs that we've been hearing about, for example, through the Van Eck ETF, and hopefully getting some sort of approval from the SEC. And I'm also bringing it up because we just recently got a reference from the SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce stating that ETFs are definitely possible. And this is based off of the Bitcoin ETF that we've actually been hearing about, again, primarily through Van Eck, but there have been multiple ETFs been uh, asking for some sort of approval from the SEC but hearing that Hester Pierce is stating we could see this as a possibility a definite possibility uh, this really has a lot of strength behind it and hopefully this will be one of those catalysts that pushes uh, cryptocurrencies all together in a very bullish manner and leading into 2019 with all the additional updates and announcements we could easily see a very nice bull rally going all the way into 2019 so uh, again, I think that this information here is absolutely positive when it comes to this negative bearish trended market we're dealing with, and I'm hopeful that we'll start seeing even more positive news coming out just as well. If I have missed anything, definitely let me know in the comment section. I appreciate everybody's input when it comes to all this information that I'm trying to provide for you guys, and I definitely appreciate the dialogue just as well. Thank you again for watching, and hope you guys have a wonderful night. And hey! If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that like button. It definitely helps get this information out there to as many people as we possibly can. And also share this content out with everybody. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. This channel has been growing by leaps and bounds and I could not have done it without you guys. If you really wanna help this channel grow, please donate to my Patreon page. Even a dollar a month would be amazing and would absolutely go right into my channel to make it more professional for you guys and allow me to create even more content. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.